money always corrupts. I mean, it's hard not to find corruption in government, in big businesses, even in religion, unfortunately. I mean, if there's money involved, it seems that corruption follows. And obviously there's huge money, billions of dollars in college sports, not just you know on the gambling end of it, but on the broadcasting end of it. And how much can influence can that money have, or especially athletes don't get paid. But what we've seen, like with soccer and other sports outside the United States, is what those smart game fixers do. And there are cabals of people who just simply fix games, like in soccer and other sports around the world, is they get their hooks into these athletes when they're young, when they are teenage years, when they're in their early 20s, and corrupt them before they make the pros. And then once they get into the pros, then they continue to use them because now they have basically black material with which to use them, you know, to get them to shave points. And I think it's absurd for fans to not think pros can be susceptible to these things because let's face it, I mean, they're humans too. And despite the fact that many of them get huge contracts, many of them don't get huge contracts, and they have their own problems. They have drug problems. They have gambling problems. They have all sorts of different problems, maybe just simple greed, that could maybe get you into fixing a game.